Today I'm going to show you how to uh, use Windows Media Player to share videos, pictures, and, and uh, music or audio to a Roku Player, which is a little known feature of this device. Uh, you'll need the Roku Media Player in channel installed. As you can see, I have it installed there. And uh, I'm going to be doing this on a uh, Roku 3 and a 35, sorry, Roku Streaming Stick 3500R. And uh, I've tested both of them and I don't see any difference in, in the quality between the two. So uh, what you're going to need is a computer running Windows Media Player, uh, probably Vista on up. I don't know if it works on XP. And uh, you, need, uh, you need it connected to a network, like a wireless network, or a LAN or local area network with a uh, physical cable. Now most Rokus are connecting to their networks with a uh, wireless connection. Uh, if you have a LAN to it, well that's even better. It'll work even better as it'll stream faster. So, uh, but even on wireless, I didn't have much of a issue, it seemed to work just fine. So let's go into this and I'll show you what the media player looks like. Okay, there's the media player and you get the options. So just make sure you have that installed. And next I'm going to show you how to uh, get the media player to connect to, uh, sorry, the Windows media player to connect to the Roku media player. I'm in Windows 7. Uh, you may be using Vista or XP or uh, Windows 8. Not sure if this is going to work in those platforms or not. I guess the best thing to do is just try it. But I'm using Windows Media Player. This is where you you need to go to share out uh, your videos to uh, your Roku. So first thing you need to do is go up to Stream here and click on that box, uh, down arrow button there. And then click on Automatically Allow Devices to Play My Media. That's what we want, right? We want the Roku to play your media. So click on that. Then it says... You know, gives you the option, do not allow or automatically allow. Of course, we want to automatically allow. So we're going to click on that. And now it's going to share out your media to the network. I want to show you a more granular view of all that. So click on your stream and uh, go down to more streaming options. The reason I want to show you this is to show you all your options. And you, here you can change the name of your media library, how it shows up on your Roku. When you change this, it shows up. Uh, the name shows up on your Roku. So I'm going to leave mine as my HP laptop as that's what I'm using. And then um, show devices on local network. That's what we want. And over here, if you want to stop this from being shared out, you can just click on block all and then click OK down here when you're done. And that will change your settings. So I'm just going to click on OK. We're back to the media player. Now, a caveat for uh, this video is, yes, you can stream your videos to your Roku, but there is a data limit that, you know, will hamper your Roku. In other words, um, if you look at a video, uh, let's look at this one. Right-click it and choose Properties. You see that's 23.43 megabits per second. Well, that's 1080p raw video and that's a very heavy piece of video and it will chunk out on on the uh, uh, Roku and I'll show you that um, but less than 10 megabits per second it'll work just fine and most videos that most people are going to use are less than that anyway so if you see a, a, a buffering a lot of buffering or, or uh, you know it, the the video gets all granular and I'll show you that uh, it's probably because the bitrate is too high for the Roku to actually play it. So, I, I might e it might even be an issue also with uh, 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 file file type because this is a raw video file. So let's let's uh, like I said, I got 500 videos, so I don't want to go sorting through all of them uh, all at one time. So let's just create a playlist. So we'll go here to playlist on the left side. And you notice that it's, there is no playlist, so let's create one. So click here to create a playlist. Let's call it Test Playlist and Enter. And there you go. Then you got to click on that, double click on that to load it up over here. Okay, so let's go. And of course, it's not allowing me to do that. Let's go here. 
Okay, so I double clicked it, then I went down to music, and you can see that the test playlist is over here. So it says drag items here. So I'm going to drag a couple of my raw vid, uh, audio files, which are just test, testing the microphone. Uh, for reasons of, of copyright, I can't use any of the other stuff that's in here. So let's just drag a few over there for, video, for audios, MP3s, whatever. Um, as you can see, they're sorted out by Irish album and genre. Let's go to video again. And um, let's drag this one, which I know won't work because it's too high a bit rate. Uh, and then I'm going to go up, up here to uh, view options. I'm going to change it to details, which will allow me to see a lot more. And, uh, you know, basically show me the smaller uh, video, smaller bitrate videos that I have. So let's see, first card, let's go to properties on that. That's too high, 23 megabits per second. Let me uh, scroll down. And like I said, you probably won't have to worry about this. I do because of copyright issues. Otherwise, I would just put a video on and off we go. But uh, I got to use my own. So there we go. Let's try this one. Yeah, that's really a low 2.2 megabits per second. Okay, so we're going to choose the active link there. Put that over there. Uh, how about the aluminum jack? Yeah, that's good. We'll use that. So there's a couple of videos to show you. Um, how about this one here? Yeah, work. Put that there. So a couple of videos. Um, then let's go to pictures. Pictures there's no limitation on, so I'm just going to grab them. Put them over there, a picture of a bulb, a picture of a Roku, a picture of the active link. Okay, so I created a playlist to play. You have to save the playlist, so we're going to click on Save Playlist. And once you do that, it publishes it out to the network. And next, we're going to see how this all functions on the Roku. So we're back to the Roku here. This is the on the Roku 3. And this actually works the same exact with the exact same performance on my Roku uh, streaming stick 3500R and I'll show you that afterwards but right now we're on the Roku 3 and uh, we're gonna go to the uh, Roku media player as you can see in the center there uh, if you don't have that you all, it's a channel you need to install the Roku media player channel and then you'll have it once you have it click on it and then you have three uh, options plus the help screen and uh, what these options are is actually filters. So it'll filter for, for audio, it'll filter for video, it'll filter for pictures. Uh, but they basically all work the same way. And by filters, you can see up there that you have options on the top right hand corner. Just hit your start button. We'll do that. Uh, I guess I don't have the option in here. Let's go into the videos. And as you can see, there's my HP laptop. That's where we want to go. Okay, and now you have the option is highlighted. So if you hit star, you have the option to filter. You can filter through music, photos, uh, and A through Z, Z through A, and then hit OK when you're done. Okay, well, right now we're, vid we're filtering for videos. And what does that mean? Well, um, when we went in here, we went in under videos, as you can see. And then we went to my laptop. So we're automatically filtering for video. So if we go to the music, and then we, all music, you'll see that, hey, no compatible videos found in video. Why? Because the filter is set for video. So here, if you hit uh, the star button and then go to music, then you'll see that your mu music shows up, okay? Now, I can't play any of that copyrighted stuff, but I'll, I'll play one of my test audio tracks here. And as you can see, it's a mic test. So it works just great. Um, gives you the ability to turn on repeat, go to the next one. Uh, we'll go to next here, which is another audio test, I believe. So basically at this point, you know how, mu the music, or how to play a music player. But what I was showing you is the filtering options. Even though I'm under video, um, you can change the filters anywhere. So I'm going to change the filter back to video, as is, that's what I'm looking for. And uh, let's go to 
videos here. You see I have 579 videos. Well, that's why I made a playlist. I don't want to filter through all that and go through it and pick and whatever. I'd rather just make a playlist and play from what I want. So if say you had a bunch of uh, home movies or something and you can put them into a home movie uh, uh, playlist and so on or sports or whatever. So let's go back here and you see I got pictures as well. Again, if you're not filtering for pictures, you're not going to find any. So let's go to playlists. And like I said, you don't even need to use a filter option. You could just choose the, the first three windows, you know, windows, pictures, or, or, or audio. So playlist. And you see I have one playlist. And even the playlist is being filtered for video. Even, you know, I know I have audio in there, but it's filtered for video right now. So all you're going to see is video. So let's go to uh, my back porch. It's a low bitrate video. Now, if you get a lot of buffering, it's probably a network issue or your video is too high a bit rate for the uh, uh, wireless hookup. Uh, at that point, you have the option to go to uh, a LAN connection with a physical Ethernet cable, uh, which will probably help your performance and video streaming. Um, it, you know, or downgrade the video quality by reprocessing your video to something that it can handle. But as you can see, it played that no problem. Uh, let's go back. Let's go to Active Link. Actually, let's go to the this one here. Um, I think this one was, is going to chunk out, and I'll show you what that means here. There you go. You see all the dropouts and so on and so forth. This is way too high a bit rate for the Roku to play. I'm not sure if it's the bit bit rate and the uh, the format of the video uh, or just the bit rate. Uh, the last format that you saw was um, MP4. This is ADHCS, I believe, which is the raw video off my camera. So I'm just going to go out of there and just show you, show you that, you know, that's, that's the problem with that video. It's just too high a bit rate. And uh, by the way, I had that one plugged, plugged into the LAN port at that point. So, uh, you know, even with a LAN connection, you, you got to understand, even if you could connect your laptop or computer to a LAN connection, your Roku is still streaming through a wireless connection, at least mine is, right? So maybe if you connect them both to a LAN connection, they, you know, then you get 100 megabits per second and you won't have an issue, right? But as long as you're going wireless, you're going to have some issues with quality on the higher bitrate video. So let's go here, see what this one plays like. I don't even know if it's going to play right or not. Let's see. Looks good. Um, I don't have any dropouts quality is great so that's one of my youtube videos and as you can see it worked just fine sorry so you know this is how you use the roku media player understand the limitations uh let's go to the aluminum jack here see that and that the higher the quality of the video the higher the bit rate the video the more chances that it's going to buffer or chunk out on you obviously these are working just fine okay and these are mp4s by the way so let me get out of there and let's go look at uh, pictures for the last thing so back to the very front screen here and go to the photo hp my lap my hp laptop and pictures and 81 pictures so actually let's go back here sorry this is the other problem with choosing to, fold, to browse by a folder, it's got to process those 81 pictures. That's a lot of pictures, right? And imagine it's 579 videos. It's pretty crazy, right? So here we go. We'll go back into my playlist. And there's my picture. So I'll, I'll click on one. There it comes up really nice. Uh, quality is excellent. Uh, there's a Roku remote picture. And there's my active link. And you just cycle through them okay and uh, you can actually let it go by itself it does have the um, play button on it so you know excellent little um, feature so there's my roku media player connecting to uh, my windows media player they actually work hand in hand really great it's an awesome feature 
in the sense that, hey, you can share anything on your computer or your laptop to your Roku and see it on the big screen. Great for pictures, great for videos and movies, great for whatever you want to share. Thanks for watching.